Hello, governor. I am Odd Podge, and I am sick. Hey guys, it's OG. What's up? Sorry about the accent. I was just playing with some Russians, and you know what that does to me. It makes me kind of go all Arabian. It's a little weird. Oh well. So, today is a good day and a bad day. It's a bad day because I'm sick, and being sick, it sucks. It really does. I mean, you freaking you feel crappy, you play video games crappy, life is just freaking crappy. But it's a good day because I fixed my HD PVR. After freaking uploading two weeks of shitty videos, I figured out the problem, I fixed it, it will not happen again. I know you can be saying right now, oh gee, we see that the problem's gone, but at the beginning of the game it was lagging. Well here's the secret, the game itself was actually lagging, it wasn't the HD PVR. How wonderful is that? Well, it's kind of wonderful, I mean the game lagging is never good, but hey, what the heck. Two little lag spikes, not, the, not gonna kill anybody. And the fact that the game itself is actually going to be uploaded and look at what it actually is and people can actually see what this game really is and not just how freaking crappy it looks in my videos, it's going to be wonderful. So that being said, I have deleted the pieces of poop, I guess, or lard, the lardy videos that I had uploaded with the crappy, crappy settings. This is because, I mean... YouTube is basically a giant popularity contest, and having those videos on there is not going to help our cause. In fact, we had like six people, six whole people, unsubscribe because of the video quality. And, I mean, that's just not going to happen again. So, don't worry about it. No more poop. If we have issues, instead of freaking, um, instead of freaking uploading, or I'm just going to maybe take a week off, two weeks, just to get everything fixed before we go in. I mean, I was about to take this thing into the Mac store, and that is never fun, because those guys just, like, stare at you, and they, like, go through your computer and see all the awkward things you do. Like, they'd freaking run into unicorn layers and everything. It'd be bad. But anyways, since I deleted the video... Yeah, this is just some more game lag. Don't worry about it. It's not the HD PVR. Don't be like, oh no, OG the period. It's coming back. No, it's fine. It's just a game. So, what was I saying? I was saying something important. It was important. Oh, yeah. So, I have decided that since I removed those two videos, I no longer have what is known as a review of Gears of War Judgment. And that is a problem because, I mean, if you're my subscriber, I shouldn't make you have to go to someone else's video to know whether or not you should buy the game. So, why not? So, this video is now becoming dedicated to making a review on the game. So I'm going to talk about two main things when talking about whether or not you, as a person, should buy the game. I'm not going to tell you if you should buy the game or not, but I'm going to tell you, judging on like what games you play and your play style, if you should buy this game. So it's been known throughout generations that if you play Halo, and if you're a big Halo fan, even when a Halo game can go downhill, Gears is just, for some reason, Halo players play Gears. I don't know why. It's just kind of interchangeable. Excuse me. I'm going to sneeze. It's going to be bad. Good with the entire video. Ugh. Pineapple. Okay, good. If you say pineapple when sneezing, this is a tip and trick from OG. You will not sneeze. You saw there? I said pineapple. Completely canceled the entire thing out. But anyways, what was I saying? Oh, yes. So if you play Halo, you'll probably like yours. So keep that in mind. Now, another thing you got to think about is, do you want to play campaign? Because if you're buying this game because you really like Gears of War 1, 2, and 3's campaign, don't. Because this game has the most retarded campaign in the world. They took out horde mode, and it seems that they took out horde mode so they could make campaign horde mode. Because all it is, is a bunch of freaking flashy looking grounds. And when I say grounds, I mean the floor. The floor just looks flashy, and then there's like a couple of levels. And then you sit on walls and freaking fight hordes of enemies that are incredibly challenging, actually. It's freaking the most challenging campaign ever. It's just also the most boring. So, that is kind of annoying. In fact, I haven't even finished the campaign, man. It's that bad. It's so freaking crappy. Another thing. Oh, yeah. So if I'm grading it on campaign, I would give it probably a 1 out of 7. I know. Grading things on 7, what the heck. But, hey. 7 is a sexy number. Don't let anyone ever tell you otherwise. So, yeah. So, 1 out of 7. It's not really very good. It's actually dreadful. I can't even finish it. I mean, it's freaking terrible. Sure, I, I am known to get bored easily of video games, but I can't even freaking finish the campaign. That's pretty bad. I usually can do better than that. 
So now I'm going to talk about what everyone wants to hear, and that is, should you get this game because of multiplayer? And the answer is, honestly, probably yes. This game's multiplayer is so addictive, and though there is only seven maps today, there's seven maps, they all are very fun, and they're just very well put together, and there, many of them are interactive. I'm not entirely sure because I haven't played all of the new map packs that just got released today, but the ones I have played are all very wonderful, and they just are freaking amazing. So on this map, you can see a little interaction going on. Right there, a couple seconds ago, I walked past these things called gondolas. The map itself is actually called gondola because of them. Basically, what a gondola does, if you don't know, is it takes someone from the bottom of the hill to the top of the hill. It might stop in between. This gondola, if you get on it at the bottom, you can go the whole way up to the top, get the digger, the halfway up, excuse me, get the digger, then the whole way up and get the sniper and hold the top of the map. So it is incredibly helpful to take control of. Also, at the bottom of the gondola is the bushka. Now, I personally am terrible with this weapon. It is like a grenade launcher of sorts. But if you are good with this thing, it can freaking dominate. And when you get that to the top of the map, then you can just kind of bushka down on everybody else. So it's freaking amazing. So there are some... Another good thing is not just the map design, though the map design is very strong. This game kind of goes back to like how it's supposed to be. Shotgun battles are fast and furious, as if you're playing Gears of War 1, which is always nice. Now, there's a couple problems, of course with that. Number one, you start out with one primary weapon. This means that people with who use retros and sawed-offs can't play it, which I think is wonderful, but some of you might hate on it, and that is also why, if you look on GameStop or any of like the gaming HQs and you read reviews on this game, they'll be very negative. That is because Gears of War 3 brought in hundreds of thousands of people who use these newbie weapons and now they can't use them anymore because the sawed off isn't strong enough to stand on its own and the retro doesn't down you fast enough anymore. In fact, there's no downing, which is another thing I'll get to. So that's important to remember. If you want to play this game, take in mind that I'm a competitive gamer. That's another thing. I don't play games casually. I play Halo and I play freaking Gears and I play them com competitively. I used to do a lot of MLG stuff with Halo. I never really got that far into it with Gears, but I have been on a few teams. So everything I'm going to be saying is more going to be relating to the MLG side of the player. So if you are competitive, that is another reason. This game is great for you. So problems, because of course every game has problems. Nothing is perfect. Nobody's perfect, just like Hannah Montana said all those years ago. The, number one, meleeing. I melee so much in this match, it is ridiculous. I shouldn't even upload this because it's a shame. But meleeing is the most overpowered thing in the world. In this game, it has like sort of a halo meleeing system. And that if you me get meleeed once, you can't shoot. And then if you get meleeed again, you die instantly, which is really stupid. So that's a problem. Another problem is the downing system. Now at first, I wasn't sure if this was a bad thing, but now I'm convinced it is. If someone's lancering you from 50 feet out, you just keep losing health and then you fall over dead. You don't get downed, you fall over dead. And the problem with that is that it just makes things like the lancers, they can be very overpowered if everyone on the team is using them, you can't do anything. Like see, the, right there, you just double meleeed me. Freaking missed his shot and he double meleeed me and I choked at the thing. So downing, getting meleeed, it sucks. But that doesn't make this game suck. This game, like I've said before, is very enjoyable, and it, it's just, I'm going to say it's great, because it is. It's great. It's a great game. Battles are intense, the games are close, and it's freaking fun. So if I had to judge this based on multiplayer, I think I would easily give this game either a 6.5 or a 7 out of 7. That is because it is fun, it is addictive, and... Honestly, I just want to go hop on and play it right now. Even though I feel like crap and I know I'd play terrible, it's just so fun that it's freaking... You just want to play it all the time. And sure, you can hate it. You can have a love-hate relationship with this game, and many of us do. Like, when you join that lobby and everyone's throwing frag grenades, which are retarded, and you just keep dying, of course no one's going to like that. But, I mean, it's just... Overall, this game is freaking almost perfect. It really is. So basically, that's all for the review, guys. This game, if you you should buy this game if you like competitive gameplay. If you don't got nothing to play, I mean, you might as well give it a try. 
Because if you're willing to freaking try out the Nasher and try to get good at wall bounce battles and all this stuff, you can always play with me and Ryan. We're, we're trying to get a team together anyways. Because it's kind of lame to play just me and him. So, I guess I gotta conclude this video. This beautiful first video that actually worked in like 8 months. Just remember guys, when thinking about whether or not to get this game, maybe your best option is to wait for the price to drop. Because, hey, when it goes down to $40, I guess it really isn't that waste of the money, even if you don't like it. Just remember that this game is mainly for competitive gamers. Casual gamers aren't going to have the too great a time in this freaking wonderful piece of master, master game. Wonderful beauty. So anyways, if you'd like this video, please leave a like. It really helps out our channel. If you want to comment and talk about your penis, do so. Ryan will answer you. I won't, but he will. And just remember, guys, if you think animals should wear protection, please subscribe.